Hi, I'm Phil Moody. I'm a Principal Soil Scientist with the Queensland Government and I'm working with the Department of Environment and Heritage Protection on a decision support tool called Safe Gauge for Nutrients. I'd like to show you how Safe Gauge for Nutrients can be used to give you an idea of where the nutrients might be moving on your farm. If they're moving off your farm, they're costing you money. With spending a little bit of time on the computer with Safe Gauge for Nutrients, you'll be able to get a good idea of what management practices you might undertake to reduce the loss of nutrients and save you money. Safe Gauge is a web-based decision support tool that helps you manage your fertiliser to make sure your crop has the best chance of taking up the nutrients it needs. This is a big deal for farm management and of course for Great Barrier Reef catchment waterways. Once you've worked out your crop's nutrient requirements, you can run Safe Gauge to see what potential risk there is of nitrogen and phosphorus and your hard-earned cash that paid for it moving off your block the next time it rains. Before you run Safe Gauge for a particular block, there's a little bit of historical information that you need first to gather so you can use the tool. Starting with where your block is, use Google Maps to pinpoint the location and the boundaries of the block. Safe Gauge can then recognise the soil in the block and the local climate. Know what your surface cover is. Which soil group applies to the area? The results of your latest soil test. Any relevant cropping dates. And finally, your fertiliser records. Safe Gauge uses drop down menus to allow you to easily enter the information you need to run the decision support tool. You click on the arrow and you see what the options are for that particular box. To get a better description of each of those, click the question mark and that gives you a full text description of each of those options. When you've entered all the information on a particular block that you need to to run Safe Gauge, this is the look that you get with dials at the top and also a risk index and the rainfall. But what if I had another block that I was interested in, one that had a different soil type, perhaps a heavy clay, or a block that was a lot more sloping than the current block? It's very easy to adjust Safe Gauge to run with the new block and the new management details. Hi, my name's Jack Robertson. I'm an Extension Officer with the Department of Agriculture and Fisheries in South Johnson, just south of Innisfail. You've just seen Phil show you how Safe Gauge for Nutrients works. If you need more information, keep your eye out for a departmental workshop near you. Remember, what happens here on the farm can affect the catchment right through to the reef. So, put Safe Gauge to work.